So we've walked through how to share folders in File Manager and how to manage and share folders in Computer Management. We can also do it here inside Server Manager. So to do it, we're going to come to File and Storage Services and we're going to go to Shares. And this is going to show us all the shares on our system. Notice, however, this does not show us our administrative shares. That's something that we saw in computer management, but we don't see here. We do see the remote install from when we were playing with um, Windows deployment services in another video. Okay, I want to create a new share. So I'm going to go to Tasks and New Share. Now this gives me a bunch of other different options here. So I've got SMB Share Quick, SMB Share Advanced, SMB Share Applications. SMB stands for Server Message Block. This is the basic uh, file sharing protocol for Microsoft Windows. And it tells you over here, uh, this is for Windows-based computers suitable for general file sharing. Uh, we also have an Advanced Share, which gives us some more advanced options. Um, and enables quotas and a couple of other advanced options. Then we've got some for applications. And this will create an SMB share suitable for databases, Hyper-V, or other types of applications. NFS, this is used for Unix or Linux-based computing, or computers. So we have quick and advanced. So let's do the SMB quick to start with. I'm going to click Next, and then it's going to ask us which server again, which volume, and then we can either share the entire volume or we can choose a custom path. Now I want to do a custom path, and I want to browse. I'm going to go to my Shares folder, and I'm going to choose Advanced. Now if you want something, if you can't right-click and create a new folder here, but you do have a new folder option here. In fact, let's go ahead and do that just for the fun of it. And we're going to call it SM for Server Manager. So, select the folder. Now, also, if you type in a path here that doesn't exist, the next screen it will tell you it can't find it and prompt you to see if you want to create it. So I'm going to click Next. We're going to set our share name, and SM is fine. Share description, the local share path, and the remote share or, uh, path to the share. This is how other people are going to access it. And then here's some options, access-based enumeration, encrypted data access, and caching. Caching we've seen before, but access-based enumeration and encrypted data access we have not. Encrypt data access means when somebody connects to this, they will have to encrypt their connection in order to connect. Access-based enumeration means if you can't access the file, you can't see it. Without access-based enumeration turned on, if you can't access the file, you can still see it, but when you try to access it, it will tell you no. So that's what access-based enumeration, in fact, that's a really good option that I really like using. Encrypting data access only encrypts data in transmission. So it's going to encrypt data when I'm sending it back and forth from this server to another server. It doesn't encrypt data storage or data storage. Um, so when the server is stored, or when a file is stored on my hard drive, this doesn't encrypt it. I have to use EFS or BitLocker or something else to encrypt it. But those don't encrypt data in transit. So when data is being transmitted from a server to a server or a client to a server or a server to a client, if I want to protect it against eavesdropping, I need to encrypt data access here. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. I'm going to click Next. And then these are our permissions. Now, these actually are NTFS permissions. And I can customize those permissions here. And you'll recognize this from when we go look at NTFS permissions. So I can add, I can disable inheritance. And we'll talk about a lot of these things when we actually look at NTFS permissions. The key thing here, and this is big, and this is really cool, is to know that this will allow me to manage NTFS from one place, NTFS permissions. The other permissions I was looking at was share level permissions. In our previous videos when we shared from computer management or from file manager, we were looking at share level permissions and we couldn't manage NTFS permissions, we'd have to do them separately. In fact, we're going to do another video that's going to show you how to do that, but this gives them to you all at once and that is very, very nice. And then we can create our share. And there we go. We created a folder. We created an SMB share. We set permissions on it. 
and now we see right here our share and then we can right click and open the share which will open it up remotely so we can see what it looks like when we come across the network to access it or we can stop sharing or we can look at the sharing properties and change permissions and here under settings we can rechange that access based enumeration encrypted data access and caching alright so this actually gives me a ton of options let's go ahead and play with another one so I'm gonna to go to tasks and I'm gonna create a new share and I'm gonna create an SMB advanced share um, Ah, I don't have FSRM involved. So I'm not going to do that. Forgot that I needed FSRM. FSRM is the File Server Resource Manager. And File Server Resource Manager is what enables classification of data and quotas. So if you've got FSRM on your file server, that actually becomes really, really useful. Um, and this allows you to share with a lot of those FSRM properties. But since I don't have FSRM, I'm not going to go ahead and do the share now. We'll just stick with the quick share. NFS, remember, is for Unix and Linux based sharing. can be very, very useful for that. But Windows clients do not support NFS by default. So if you're running a small network, FSRM, by the way, doesn't cost you anything. It's not extra money. It's just a feature that you would add to your uh, file server. Uh, if you're running FSRM for all of its additional classification of data and management of data, then you can do advanced shares. Otherwise, for small networks, you'll do quick shares most of the time. Okay, so that is how we manage shares using Server Manager.